This is a smart mirror. Smart in the way that is not a common mirror and just that. This will show you from behind information about the weather in your city, your calendar and agenda so you could refresh your appointments and also some important news. You can configure this device to match your zone, your country and calendar. This is a project from magicmirror.org, so a huge thank you to everybody involved into this awesome project. Links for their website is below. In this video we'll get through all the steps from getting the parts and creating the part list, making the frame for the mirror, a cheap solution for the one-way system, and then we assemble all the electronics and set up the Magic Mirror software on the Raspberry Pi. This may be a long process, but be patient. After that we insert our personal data for the weather, calendar and other settings, and then we can display text using an LCD screen and internet connection, and this will update automatically. So let's see how I've made my own Magic Mirror. Make sure you check the description for more links and that you subscribe to this channel. Consider supporting my work on Patreon, so let's get started! Video sponsored by GLCPCB. I guess that you've heard they now have a low-cost and fast SMT service. So get your PCBs assembled in 24 hours with their in-stock more than 30,000 SMT components. In this way you can get the PCB with all the components already soldered in place, ready to use. So read more about the service on their SMT page. The finish on the solder points is very good. Production time is quite quick and prices starting from only $7. What's up my friends, welcome back. In this video I have to explain the electronics, the build of the mirror, but the longest part would be the software setup, which might take some time, because we have a lot of settings to make. So have patience. Ok, so let's start with the part list, and first we see the electronics that we need, and by the way you have a full part list below. Ok, the brain of the smart mirror is the Raspberry Pi. In my case I have the Raspberry Pi 3B+, but you could use the 4 or the 0 as well. Together with the Pi we need a good speed micro SD card of more than 8GB. In my case I will use a 32GB one. For this we also need an SD card reader like this one, in order to connect the SD card to our PC and flash the OS. The mirror doesn't need a keyboard or mouse, but you will need this in order to set up the configuration, so make sure you also get a USB keyboard and a mouse. To power the Raspberry Pi you can use a 5V DC power supply like this one, or you could use a 5V smartphone charger like this one and connect the USB cable to the USB connector. If you use the supply you have to solder wires to the 5V input pins of the Raspberry Pi. If you use the DC adapter you can use directly the micro USB cable, so make sure you have such a cable. Also make sure that your Raspberry Pi has Wi-Fi, and if not you will need a Wi-Fi antenna like this one. Ok, so that's pretty much it on the Raspberry Pi side. On the other side we need a display. For that you could use an old TV that you don't use anymore and has an HDMI input or maybe an old PC monitor. You could also use displays from old broken laptops, but you need to search online and buy the video controller for these LCD displays. Anyway, in my case I have this LCD with an HDMI controller that I've used in a previous project. It's not that big but it's enough for me, because I want the smart mirror text to be only on the top side of the mirror. This works at 12 volts, and we can connect the HDMI video input from the Raspberry Pi so make sure you have an HDMI cable. I would really like to use this old TV in the future, but I don't have a big enough glass for that. I don't use this TV anymore, so it would be very nice to give it a use and make a smart mirror. But anyway, make sure that you have a display with HDMI input, and if not you should buy a VGA adapter. If you use old monitors, a TV or displays from old laptops, make sure that you take out the plastic cover, so the screen could be placed flat on the glass that we will use later. We can't have any space between the glass and the screen in order to get good results. To supply my display I will use another DC adapter of 12V, connected to the input pins. We could also try and add a relay or a MOSFET with an Arduino and an PIR sensor in order to enable or disable a screen light when you are in front of the mirror. You could use directly this module here. We could also add some LEDs in order to make it cooler, but we can decide this later. And for the electronics that's pretty much all we need, but make sure that you have some wires for connections. As for the rest of the parts, well we need a piece of glass. In my case I have this glass from old furniture that I don't use anymore. 
To make this project we need a one-way mirror, and that could be very expensive. But to make this we will use a one-way mirror film like this one. It's very important to buy this from good suppliers, so they won't ship it to you like this. I first bought this too, and they had no hard protection around, so they will have some sort of foldings, and this will ruin the mirror. This other one arrived inside of a strong cardboard box, so it's not damaged. As for the mirror frame, I bought some 45 by 30 mm wood like this. In my case the mirror is quite big, so I will need around 3 or 4 meters of wood. We also need some wood glue, some nails, screws, some soap to apply the mirror film, some wood putty to cover the ugly areas, and maybe also some paint or varnish. Ok, so let's start. We first make the frame of the mirror. I measure the glass that I have in order to know the frame size. I have some ugly corners on my glass, so I will want to cover this, so the frame will be in my case 1 cm smaller than the glass. I mark the wood and cut it to size. We need 4 pieces of wood for the front part of the frame, and 4 more for the back side. You have the dimensions that I've used below, on electronoops.com. I place the frame around the glass and find a good position. I use a 90 degrees angle tool in order to make sure that it will be straight. We will later fill these small gaps with wood putty. Then I use some wood glue and some screws to fix it in place. I make some holes so the wood won't crack with the screws and also enlarge the hole at the end so the screw will fit flat on the hole. We have to let the glue to dry for a few hours so it will be strong. Then I place the glass and mark where the inside frame will go. Once I have the lines we make the holes and once again we enlarge the input as before so the screw will fit flat. We add the second interior frame with screws and glue. Leave the glue to dry. Ok, now the wood part is ready. But I have to fill the holes with wood putty. After that we can sand it and paint it. So get some wood putty and fill the holes. And let the putty dry. You will see that after this process it will look kind of ugly. So get a fine sandpaper and smooth all the wood paste. You could then go and apply another layer if needed. Now we can paint the frame. I will use some white paint to give it a better look. Using a rolling sponge I apply white paint on all visible sides. And after a while I apply a second layer. I let the paint to dry overnight. Ok, so now we have the mirror frame. Now let's prepare the mirror. So take your glass and make sure that you clean it very very well. I use some water with soap and this window cleaning tool. If you have small hairs or dust below this, when we glue the mirror film it will look ugly. Ok, so now take the film and cut it to size, a little bit bigger than the glass all around. Straighten the film so it won't curl back when you want to glue it. Now that you have the film and the glass next to each other, we apply a layer of water with soap over the glass. Now peel the protective coat from the film. Now it should be very sticky. Place the film over the glass. Use the tool from before and pull out all the water from below. And make sure that everything is smooth. Now flip the glass and cut the excess and let it to dry for some time. And now we have a one way mirror. As you will see when we have something black behind it will act as a mirror. But when we have nothing behind it will able the light to pass. And that's how we are able to see the white text from the screen and not the rest. Now that we have the mirror let's prepare the electronics. Ok, so first see the schematic below. Connect the Raspberry Pi to the HDMI cable and to the LCD screen and supply 5V to the Pi and 12V to the screen. Now take the micro SD card and place it into the adapter and connect it to the PC. Format the SD card. Now you should go to raspberrypi.org. To downloads, select Raspbian and download the zip file for the buster version of the Raspbian. On the other side you should go to bellana.io and download this Etcher software. You have all these links below so don't worry. In my case I download this for Windows. So install Etcher and open the software. Now make sure you have the SD card connected to the PC. Select the zip file you have just downloaded with the Raspbian file. On the next option as a drive you should select the SD card. And now click flash. This process will place the image file of the Raspbian to the SD card, so we will have a working operating system. This will take a while. Once completed, remove the SD card and insert it into the Raspberry Pi. Make sure the Raspberry Pi is turned off at this moment. 
Now power on the LCD and then the Pi, and you will see that the operating system will boot up. First we get the welcome screen. Press next. Now here select your country, your language and the time zone and press next. Create a simple password and press next once again. Now here if you see this black border on the screen, you should toggle this checkbox and press next. Now connect to the Wi-Fi connection for internet. Finally, it will ask you to update the software. You could skip this one or update, but have in mind this will take around 15 minutes. After that restart the Pi. Now let's install Magic Mirror. Open the terminal and paste this line here. You have all these commands below this video, so don't worry. Press Enter. And once this is done, paste this other line. This command will install the latest Node.js. Now we have to clone the files of the magic mirror from GitHub. So for that you have to add this line and press enter. This will take a while. Once you have the folder of the magic mirror cloned, open this folder. For that you have to type cd magic mirror and press enter. Now inside of this folder you should type npm install. This will take a while once again, and now the magic mirror should be installed. Before we continue, you should make a copy of the config.js file, so for that you should type this line and press enter. Now press npm start and magic mirror should start. And there you go, this is magic mirror interface. But as you can see it has data that we don't want, so let's add our personal data. We have to edit the config.js file and add our zone for weather information and our own calendar. So press Alt on the keyboard and using your mouse go to File and Quit Magic Mirror. Now go to Folders, Pi and open the Magic Mirror folder. Now go to Config and open the config.js file. First in my case I don't want the greetings block, so I remove it. Delete this from bracket to bracket if you want to remove a block. Then we have to add our zone for weather. And for that we need to add an API key and this location ID. To get this we go to openweathermap.org and create an account. Select your zone and then we go to API keys. Create a new API key and copy that number. Now go to the config.js file and paste that API key here and here. Now let's find the ID for our city. Go below this video and open the city list file. Now here type Ctrl F for find and search for your city. In my case I search for Barcelona. I copy the ID for my city. Now go and paste the ID here in the config.js file. I change the name from New York to Barcelona. So you should do the same steps for your city. Now save the file. Go back to the terminal and once again we should type npm start and press enter. The magic mirror will start and as you can see, we now have the weather forecast and time for Barcelona. Now let's add the calendar. Quit magic mirror once again. For the calendar you will need a Google account. So go to Google calendars. Click the settings wheel and select settings. On the left on my calendars, select the one that you want. Enable public calendars first. Now go below and copy this link for your public calendar in iCal format. Now go to config.js file and copy the calendar block for US holiday in case that you want to keep it. We paste the same block and now in this new block paste your public calendar link from Google. Give it a name such as my calendar. Now save the file and run magic mirror once again by typing npm start on the terminal. For now nothing is new. But look, I go to the smartphone on my calendar and I set a new appointment. For example meeting tomorrow at 6. We wait a while and there you have it. My own calendar agenda is now on the screen. Let's try another one. I type a reminder as Electronoop stuff on my smartphone and save it. In a few moments we have that on our screen. Pretty cool right? So we have the weather and time, reminders from the calendar and important news. In the config.js file you can change other settings such as resolution, provider for the news and so on. The software part is almost done. There is one more important thing to do. The final mirror won't use a keyboard or a mouse, so it needs to start the magic mirror platform automatically when you reboot the Raspberry Pi. So for that we'll use the PM2 method. So go back to the terminal. 
Now paste this line and hit enter and this will install PM2. After that type PM2 startup. They will give you this line to copy and paste and then press enter. Now insert the action on reboot that we want to be and that will be to start the magic mirror. For that type these lines in order to open the mm.sh file. Inside this file we should type these lines. In order to save the file press ctrl o and press enter. To close the file press ctrl x. In the terminal type pm2 save and that's it. Magic mirror will now start after a few seconds of rebooting the Pi. So reboot and let's see. As you can see the Pi starts up and after a while the magic mirror starts, without me doing anything. So the electronics part is also ready, it's time to mount the mirror. Finally this is all that we need. The Pi with the magic mirror, the LCD and the supply. And on the other side we need the frame and the one-way mirror. By now the glass and the one-way film are dry. So place the mirror inside of the frame with the film side facing the back of the mirror. I've used some smaller pieces of wood and some nails and fixed the glass in place from behind. Now first we add the LCD screen. Before that I add some black tape around this frame of the screen so it won't reflect any light. The more black we have the better. I place my screen in the middle of the top side of the frame so I have it in front of my face when looking in the mirror. The rest of the mirror must be filled with some black material that won't allow the light to pass. In my case for that I will use some cardboard that I've painted with black using some sprayed paint. Once the paint is dry I make sure that the cardboard has the good size and place it on top of the mirror on the back side with the black side facing the glass. Now the LCD and the black background are in place. So check how we can see this from the front side and it looks quite good. Now decide where to place the rest of the electronics. I use some hot glue and some scotch tape and fix all the electronics in place. I add the HDMI and connect the power regulators to a cable. I pass that cable through a hole in the frame and that will go to the main outlet. Now everything is set. So let's power this up and flip the mirror. So guys there you go. We can use this as a mirror and behind we also have the calendar, important days, the weather for that week on your city and also some important news. Using a simple LCD screen will always have some sort of shadow behind because LCD black is not fully turned off. Only by using an OLED display you can have no shadow behind. Anyway see the links below for electrodes.com for more information on how to customize your smart mirror. Consider using the second schematic if you want to add the relay to the LCD screen with the PIR sensor so it will turn on only when it detects movement. I hope that you like this project and that it will help you. Another thank you to everyone that made this project possible from magicmirror.org. Make sure that you subscribe and activate the notification bell. Consider supporting my work on Patreon. So thanks again and see you later guys.